Hi all, Cynthia here back with a 12 by 12 layout for the Crafty Maven Getaway channel. So I'm working with the inspiration piece today and what I'm pulling from that are the colours. So the blue, the sort of the pinky, reds, the yellow and also I had plans on using the circular element there as well. So I pulled my palette out thinking okay I'll make a bit of a circle down in this bottom right hand corner. And that's where the circle element ended. Totally forgot about it after that. Once I got into it, that went straight out of my mind. I'm also doing a scrap lift. So I've, uh, some time ago, the um, craft, uh, yeah, Crafty Gen Scale um, created a layout using rub-ons. And here's the layout here where she put all these rub-ons behind the back of the photo. I absolutely loved it at the time. I don't have rub-ons in my stash, but I decided that I would use this sticker sheet as the rub-ons instead of the rub-ons. So I'm going to pretty much peel off the majority of these stickers and just lay them on the background around the back of my photo, just as the interest in the background. So I knew I wouldn't really use a lot of these stickers on other projects. It's just not something I scrap a lot of. Um, but I wanted to use them somehow. So this is what I decided to use for this page. So all I do is I go through and I'm trying to put, balance it out, trying to put some pinks on one side and not too many blues close together, not too many big ones, not too many little ones. Um, I don't want to take up the whole page. I do want to have a bit of a left to right flow to the page, which generally seems to be one of my go-to styles. So I'm just going to peel them off here, spread them around. I pick some up, put some down, um, try to make them working better with each other. Trying to make sure some of them go underneath the page, underneath the photo as well. I will come back in a bit later and put some matting behind the photo as well. But at the moment, I'm just going through and laying some of these stickers down. They are gorgeous stickers. I did want to use this little apron, but I just couldn't, couldn't get it in. I decided it was too long for what I was looking for, so that doesn't go down on the page. So the photo here is just a photo of myself and our son and the page is obviously going to be about being his mum um, and all the things you do to be a mum, you know, everyday stuff, stuff we all probably do, um, don't think anything of. But um, today I'm going to document it just talking about how it's the best thing in the world. You know, there's no other job that I prefer to do than be his mum. Um, so documenting that, going to come back in a bit later and put a little bit of journaling around that as well. Uh, I don't know, there's going to be a lot of the same stuff, so I probably should have fast forward at this. What else can I talk about? Just to make sure to remind you to all jump on and um, ensure you are subscribe to the Crafty Maven Getaway channel. Um, each day there's some awesome inspiration pieces going up by the other ladies that put pieces up. Um, generally there's a theme to the page. There's always a inspiration piece. There's a, a topic such as scrap lift, use your stash, art it out. So all sorts of different themes that we work with. Um, so you never know what's going to happen each day. So it's always a way, wise to make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the goodness. This page is also up on the Crafty Maven blog. So make sure you jump over there. You can have a bit of a read about what that happened as well as um, have a look at some close-up photos. I'm liking the way that's starting to come together. As you can see, I'm getting a left to right um, 
flow to the page I've gone in and I've also pulled out these little chipboards and I've pulled out some of the stuff that I think might work with this page um, I felt like the bottom left hand corner was starting to spread out a little bit so I do take away a couple of those big ones the trolley gets moved as well I feel like it's just a little bit too big for down there pretty sure I end up putting it on the page maybe up the top I shuffle some of the ones around up the top so now I've got some stickers and some chipboard elements and I'm going to come in and start thinking about how I can back my photos. I want to make sure it pops off the page a little bit, stands out from all the busy patterns or stickers in the background. And I end up coming back to that blue piece there and back that as the main one. As the photo is quite light, I think that blue helps it stand out from the background a bit. And then I'll map that, the blue, on top of that pinky, yellowy mustard paper just there as well. So it has a bit of, bit of a double mat. Just nice thin mats. And then, oh, as I said, I'll pop it on that. I thought about for a moment leaving that bit of branding strip. Um, and I cut it down, but I make sure I cut a little extra space so I know if I want to cut it off. And I didn't like it, I could, and in the end I did cut it off. I decided I preferred it without it. I think it was quite busy enough in the background as it was without any additional busy background papers. Trim that up and then I'm going to mount that on some um, foam or I think I use some leftover chipboard actually. That's my generally at the moment. I'm trying to use up all the leftover chipboard pieces that I have around. So I lay them down on the back just using some double-sided tape. And that works a treat. And then I just put some double-sided tape on the top as well. And I like the way that's come together there. How have you, everyone been? You've all been busily scrapping away or doing a bit of crafting or on project life whatever it is that you may get into leave a comment below let me know whether you've done a layout similar to this where you've used a product as a background whether it be stickers or the rub-ons or maybe just chipboard pieces and a lot of people use alpha stickers too of um, thickers um, have you done anything like that before? And if you are inspired at all by this layout, make sure you tag it on um, Instagram as well, um, either with um, the Crafty Maven Getaway channel or MB Pretty Papers or even Jen Scale herself as she was the um, original one or the one that I saw that I'm taking inspiration from. Anyway, I'm sure there's been many others that have done it as well, but she is the one that I'm going to be pulling inspiration from. So I do love the layouts that she does. Always so clean and fresh. And she did certainly make sure hers was a lot more compact than what mine was. Um, I have spread mine out, but that's, that's just me. That's what you do with um, inspiration pieces. You just get ideas and you go from there. So I've decided so that um, this has come back a bit later in the day and I've seemed to have zoomed in a little bit more so you don't see the whole page at once. But I've decided that I just want something else. It was all just, I don't know, floaty. And I'm just going to put this tiny little corner strip up in this top corner like it's just sort of stopping it from going out or maybe that's where it's pouring out from behind that top corner that's what I'm visualizing so I do put that there I think I come back and cut a different one because I realize it's not a hundred percent straight and I cut another one and that's where you see I've moved the shopping trolley now and have put the little heart down there instead so I've shuffled a few things around there we go, I re-trim that up and put that down. 
uh, realize the big cloud up the top is a little bit too big now for the space that I have so I take that off and I shuffle that around I put something else up there instead and I put the cloud somewhere else because I do like the cloud it's a chipboard piece so it gives a little bit of dimension and I do that and that doesn't quite work for me either and I go back to the sticker sheet and the little chipboard sheet here to see what I can use and I end up pulling off on that sticker sheet there somewhere I can't see it right now is a egg flip basically and I put that down up the top just to fill in that little space because I felt like I wanted something thought about a peg but I didn't like the peg and there we go I come up with this little egg flip and I think that just fills in that space nicely I pull off that sticker down towards the bottom underneath the photo with the flowers on it. That gets pulled up in a minute and that's where I'm going to do my journaling. I decided that I'll also do a scribbly border around the edge. I just checked out which colour blue pen I wanted to use. It really wasn't any difference in the colour. I could have used either of them. Um, but anyway, I checked it out just in case. Sorry, I'm off screen. You do, I do come back on here in a moment and you start to see again what I, I do. You don't miss much, as I say. You just, I put a couple of things down. Thought I might try to put one of these ones on, but no, busy enough as it is. There comes that flower sticker up and that's where I'm going to do my journaling. Just in that little bit of space, just talking about how I love to be his mum. No other job in the world I'd prefer to do. And I think pretty much once I do that, it nearly comes to the end. I think I, I shuffle a couple more of the stickers around, just trying to get a little bit more of a balance feel and um, you know, make it look even across the page. And I am all done. There you go. I want to put something else up the top. I feel like something needs to be up there. This is where I bring that shopping trolley back in. I definitely want to put that shopping trolley in. I know I'll never use it on any other layout. And obviously being a mum, that's one of the things you definitely do. Mind you, I don't do the shopping. My husband does the shopping for us. But anyway, the, th the thought was there. I would do the shopping. Uh, anyway. I have to laugh. Um, is actually thinking about it now. Hmm. Some of the things on here, it's probably more that my husband does. Oh, we actually get a cleaner in, and she probably does it anyway. But anyway, as a mum, that's what you would do. Oh, that's right. I come back in. I decide I want to put a title on the photo um, in that open space. Went through my stickers here to see whether I would use any of those. None of the colours was quite working for me or the fonts wasn't quite right. So I go into my thickers. I know I want something really light and subtle. I don't want to add any more colour to it. So I go into my thickers and I pull out all the white thickers after I um, try a couple of blue and maybe a green, but that's when I decide I don't want any extra colour. And I pull out all the white ones and I go through to see which ones are the white that I think I might use. And I come up and decide to use this one here that's fallen out the bottom. It says happy. And I thought, oh, that's right. I might just go with happy mum. So I'm just checking that I've got enough letters. It's pretty much the last of this um, thickers here. Don't know where they're from. They're quite old. Would have had them in the stash for ever and a day. That why the, um, the little tail had broken off. I'm just going to join that bit together. Did think about that I might make it say one happy mum, but I had already started to put the happy down before it started and there was no room to put the one, so I've just left it as happy mum. And that is it. I'm pretty sure that's the end of the layout. I come back in here and finish off there's some close-up photos coming up so make sure you stay tuned for those and as always thank you very much for watching please give me a thumbs up leave a comment 
Um, make sure you jump on and subscribe to the Crafty Maven Getaway channel. And until next time, everyone have a lovely day, a lovely week, or a lovely month. And I will talk to you on the next video. Until then, bye.